Well g'day and welcome to the channel. In today's video I'm very fortunate to have the Nikon 600 6.3 and the Nikon Z8 and I'm going to be trying this out in the field and I'm going to bring you along with me. What I want to find out is just how sharp this lens is and how it operates in the field, how's the autofocus etc. So you probably can't see it but on this log here there is a little pied cormorant and a little black cormorant side by side so I'm just going to get down eye level and try and get some shots. It's no good me standing up here and shooting down because the uh, background won't go out of focus. So what I need to do is get as close as I can and as low as I can. The autofocus has gone straight to the eye. It is so steady, this viewfinder. It's just ridiculous how steady this is looking through it. Uh, it's just amazing. Just had some wood ducks go past. Get the camera as low as I can. So hopefully we got a couple of um, cormorant shots and a couple of uh, wood ducks there. We'll move on to the next location. And one of the challenges when I get a lens to test, I do want to try and find some different birds, but it can be a real struggle. So I've come to this bit of bushland. We'll go for a walk and see what we can find. Got a backlit kookaburra here. So we've got a kookaburra in this tree and it's backlit and I'm just underexposing it heavily just so we've got the outline of the bird. All right, so hopefully what you saw there was I was walking this way at the sun's coming into my face and I spotted a kookaburra on the branch and now it was backlit. Ideally, I want the light coming over the bird over my shoulder, but I worked with the light that I had. So I've underexposed it to get a ring light or a rim light. Light is everything. Um, we just have to work with the light we've got, try and move around, get creative and just make the most of the situation as we hopefully we did there. All right, we'll keep moving. I can hear some kingfishers. So Hopefully we can find them. So I was walking down this path and I spotted a kingfisher on a branch and the light angle wasn't quite right. I took a few shots, but as you can see, it's not right. So I've moved around slowly, creeping my way around, hoping that it would stay put. And I managed to get a few shots and then it's taken off. But just moving this little distance has drastically changed the shot. And hopefully that one worked out. All right, so I've wandered around and I've photographed that sacred kingfisher, which is pretty cool, such a beautiful bird. Um, I'm not feeling the best, to be honest, so I'm probably gonna head home and if I'm up for it, I'll head out in the morning. Um, it's hard to go, there's birds, I can hear birds everywhere. the most beautiful scene here. We've got swans, two swans with babies feeding their young. Just amazing.
Well, I have to say that was that was pretty incredible to get the two black swans and their signets just feeding here. It's beautiful, calm evening. I'm sick as a dog, but it still brings a smile to my face and I'm extremely happy. I'm confident we got quite a lot of shots this afternoon and I wasn't expecting to get a lot, but um, we'll take it. Just so happy. Um, better drive home and go to bed, I think. All right, see ya. Well, it's the next day. I had every intention of coming out here this morning, but I just didn't feel that well this morning. Now, I did get up and saw the sunrise and we had some beautiful colors. So I've made myself take some beautiful sunrise shots and it's just incredible how light this is and how you can hand hold it. Just incredible and, and uh, overall just very, very impressed so far. I had a lot of fun yesterday. Basically what I'm gonna do this afternoon is just keep using the camera in the lens and see if we can't get some bird in flight or I don't know just photograph anything that I see basically. There's not a lot happening right now the, the sun's still pretty high so um, we'll just go for a walk. I've seen some swallows over here so we might just go and try and photograph them and see how we get on so we're going to do that. See how steady that viewfinder is it's just incredible. Definitely getting warmer here. There's lots of flies, <laughs> that's for sure. So I actually got this body and lens from my good mate Jan. So he set it up. He set up the dual back button autofocus. He's got um, wide area tracking on the display button and then 3D tracking on AF on. So for bird and flight, I'm just holding down display for the wide area tracking and it seems to be working pretty well. It's a bit awkward for my thumb to come over here, but it's definitely working. I'm just waiting for some bird and flight action. Hopefully some birds will fly. So the sun's this way, so I'm kind of wanting birds to fly in front of me here would be ideal. It's very hard to do bird and flight into the sun because you get shadows all over the bird. Oh, woohoo, that was good. <laughs> that was good. That was good. We had the cormorant banking right in front of us. Magic. <laughs> I have to say, this is a dream camera and lens to use, to be honest. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, so much fun. It's just so light. It's just, it focuses. You've got high frame rate. Looks great in the viewfinder. Well played, Nikon, well played. There's a brown falcon on this dead tree. And I think I really like this habitat style shot. We've got the mountain in the background. I'm gonna take some shots from here and then I'm gonna push my luck and see if I can get closer. Got the 1.4 converter on, so I'm at 840 millimeters. Oh, I love this. <laughs> so the bird flew off, but I don't think it really matters. I think I quite like the wider habitat style shot, and the 840 millimeters focal length gives us plenty of reach, and, and I like a wide habitat style shot, so. I'm sure that's gonna work out very well. Very good. 
So I just happened to be driving down this road and I spotted a red cap robin on this branch here and I photographed that out of the truck but it had a blue background. What I'm hoping is that the bird will come back, land on this perch. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's come back. Where did it go? Oh, there he is. So this is obviously his patch. He's just up here on this tree. So hopefully he'll go back to this perch he was on and I can get a green background. There he is, he's back. He's exactly, he's exactly where we want him. Oh, what a lead, little legend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> don't you love it when a plan comes together? So I've just seen the bird on this perch, I've hopped out of the truck, I've changed position, I've waited, and it's come back to that same perch. So often it's just learning the behavior. I haven't used calls, I haven't, it's just this bird is feeding in this environment and it's coming back to these same perches and we've managed to get some shots. Just beautiful. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it makes me smile even though I'm not feeling very well. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> oh. All right, I think I might end on a high. Um, that was amazing. I want to go home and rest, to be honest. I should stay out here and keep photographing, but I'm just buggered. So um, we'll head back out tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be feeling better. But a great afternoon and lots of great photos. So I'll see you tomorrow. As I'm driving home, I spot a brown falcon in these trees over here. And I thought, oh, can't be bothered. But I thought, no, I'll stop. I'll try and get some photos. I didn't film it, but I've walked towards it and it didn't move. And I've got closer, I took some shots. I got closer, I got some shots. And unbelievably, this bird let me get so close, I was almost full frame. Amazing detail. Brown falcons have different plumage. They vary in lightness and darkness. And I think the detail I got in that shot might be one of my best yet of a brown falcon. So, um, obviously the birding gods have been kind to me. Must feel sorry for me for being crook, but um, what a way to end the session. And, just a highlight to get so close to that beautiful raptor and get that amazing detail. And I can hand hold this without issue for ages. Like it's so light and it's so steady and I can just hold it. It's just amazing, absolutely amazing. Incredible image stabilization, wonderful. All right, I'm going home now. <laughs> yeah. Well, g'day again. I actually had yesterday off. Uh, I was just too crook, but I'm feeling better today. Um, I'm coming out to some local bushland. It's overcast, so I'm just going to wander around and see what we can find. Uh, I've got the monitor on, so I'll record the viewfinder so you can see the autofocus in action. I'm excited to just see what we can find. I can hear some birds, so we'll go for a walk and uh, see what happens. I'm not sure if you just saw that, but there's a antichinus just running on this log here. And <laughs> it was playing hide and go seek with me. It was popping up and it was running away. And we got a shot just as it was running off. I'm pretty sure we got one there. So I didn't actually catch it on film, but you've got to be careful where you're walking because there's just a red belly black snake right down here. <laughs> it's gone off into the tree now. So I don't know where it's gone, but just need to be aware of it. So we just had an eastern yellow robin land on this perch and we got a good shot. So we had the red cap robin the other day, we've got the eastern yellow robin today. We're just so lucky in Australia to have these beautiful robins. 
and the autofocus has worked really, really well. Picked up the subject, stuck to the eye. Fantastic. All right, I think we managed to get a shot of a brown tree creeper then. They sort of just go up the trunks of the trees and it's just a matter of following them and hopefully I got a shot as it was going up. All right, well, I had a bit of fun with that robin and that tree creeper. Unfortunately, the sun has come out. I didn't want the sun because it makes it hard because you get all these shadows and whatnot. Uh, in the bush, it's much better when it's overcast because you get an even diffused light. So um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might go for a bit of a drive and just see what we can find. All right, let's go. All right, so I've driven around. I haven't found anything else to photograph. My throat's killing me. I think I'm going to call it quits. I have to send this back tomorrow and I wish I, was, I wish I hadn't been so sick whilst I had it, but I still really, really enjoyed it. I'll give you my hot take now. This is one of the best combinations that money can buy at the moment for bird photography. It is so light, it is so accurate, it's so quick. The body's fantastic. I'm in love with this. Um, Nikon might be costing me a little bit of money. I'm not sure if I'll invest in this because it's about 15,000 Australian, which is a lot of money. But overall, I just had a wonderful time with this. And anybody who purchases this lens and this camera will have an amazing time. I'm very jealous of Nikon at the moment and the lenses they're producing, but this has not let me down and I'm confident the shots I was able to obtain speak to the volumes of the quality of this lens and this camera. So um, overall, a great few days, even though I wasn't feeling the best. I hope you enjoyed the shots. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, I want to thank Nikon Australia for sending this to me to test. I've thoroughly enjoyed my time with it and I really, really appreciate their support. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, obviously give it that thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Thanks to all my new members that have joined the channel, all my existing members. Um, hopefully in the next video I'll be feeling better, but thank you very much. Take care, happy birding, and we'll see you later.